Hello YouTubes! Welcome back Haunt Fam. So what do we all hate more than gnomes and glitter? Thieves. Boy, we cannot stand those little black-handed pilfering bastards running through our displays, running amok, tearing up our uh, store-bought expensive items and animatronics, as well as our unique handmade stuff that we spend a lot of time making. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my top three tricks and tips to use to get a little bit of payback and prevent that stuff from destroying our displays and running off with our expensive items. Okay, YouTube, so for my first tip and trick, I call this one, screw you. So a lot of years, I'll use these little dog tie downs. Uh, you just corkscrew them into the ground. You got a little ring on some of them, some of them don't, but you got a big hooked handle on the top. Uh, you can get them at Dollar General for four bucks. You can get them bent at a yard sale on Rusty. You buy, if you see them, buy them. They're worth having. Those make great hold downs for any props out in the yard. So I thought, well, you know, I've got a bunch of different animatronics. Where could I get a mass amount of those? So I went to Amazon, I was looking around, and lo and behold, what did I find? A trampoline tie-down set. These guys are the same damn thing. They're dog corkscrews. You get six of them in the set, as well as nylon straps. Now these guys are gonna be nice for the wind and everything else. So let's take a look and show you how I use these guys in my own yard. Okay, YouTubes. So we've got our dog corkscrew run down. We're gonna take some straps and go through the loop. And we're going to run up to the chassis to make sure this guy still turns. We're not going to block the motor. This is a great way to keep your props locked down in wind and rain and storms. Because uh, this guy ain't pulling out of the ground like a crappy tent stake or anything like that. And also, if you want to protect your animatronics from rain and the weather, you can always put a Christmas tree back at the bottom, put it under your clothes. And then when it comes time for storms or rain, you just raise it up over your prop. You tie the twist off, twist tie the top off, and it keeps your prop dry as well as held down um, through a storm or through bad weather. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy strapped up and then we'll get him dressed and we'll take a look and see just how well this uh, method prevents stuff. Okay, he's all strapped in. Let's see how that works for us. Leroy, is that you? Bingo! Okay, YouTubes. So in my last little tip and trick, I like to call this take one, take all. So what I like to do is group similar uh, props together, like maybe tombstones or funkins or even expensive animatronics. So I always use the Jenga block. And some typical dog run you get at the Home Depot. The uh, great uh, thing about Home Depot is they have a pet section which has all kinds of great like small stuff in there for anti-theft uh, devices. As well as they have the little uh, loop ends for making a cable with an end on it. So sit tight and I'll show you how I use these guys. Okay YouTube, so for take one, take all, I'm going to use my pumpkins. So a lot of us have pumpkins and pumpkin patches that we get all spread all over the yard and it's hard to, hard to tie them down individually. So I did go ahead and snip the end off the rope with a pair of side cuts. Uh, I've got some of these pumpkins prepped. We're going to take our jangle block and stick them inside with a little hook. So that way we can run our cord right through the pumpkins and tie them all together. So to prep these guys, sometimes you have to take the battery covers out of small ones. Uh, this guy's done. Sometimes you got to take the whole back of the pumpkin off and take all the little screws out and be careful you lose them because little tiny Chinese hands put these in. So we got all these guys prepped and get a jangle block through them. And for this guy, he's a big hollow blow mold pumpkin. I'm going to go right through the back of the head, I think. So I'll put a hole in the back of him. We'll drill out our jingle block. Okay, we're all the way through. So we got a hole in our jingle block. And we're going to take an eye hook. Hardware store, you can buy a box of these guys for a couple of bucks. So we're going to go ahead and run this guy in. I'm going to reach for the mouth. Screw into the back. So we can run our screw through. And the block will help this guy and anchor him from being torn out by a thief. If somebody were to come by and try and grab one pumpkin, they got to take them all. So we're going to get this guy on the hook. Let's see if I can find him. Sometimes it's trial and error. But you want to have some kind of anchor to keep these guys from running off. At the end of the year, the cool thing is, you can totally take these guys and just hang them up by their hooks in the rafters somewhere on an S-hook or whatever. So I've got our little wooden block in there. I'll take this guy and tie him down. As 
So now we're anchored. And you can put the eye hook any way you want. We'll go sideways. So that ain't coming out. You have to tear apart the pumpkin to get this thing. So now we can either string all these guys through, put them where you want them and run them through, and then stake them down at the end. Uh, but I've got this end open because I want to go ahead and make a loop. So I'll, fend, I'll bend the uh, rope back on itself, the wire, the dog tie wire, and then just tighten it down. So we'll have a new loop. And we can open this and add pumpkins or other props to it if we want. Uh, the other good thing is, like I like, to, like I like to give you guys options. So if you got a big long line, you want to make a prop. You don't even have to string them through the hook. You can actually use. Uh, you can use little carabiners. So I like to get the ones that are super cheap. You get a bunch on Amazon. Uh, you can screw them because no thief ain't got time not to be sitting there unscrewing pumpkins. So you spin them around. Your one wire up, and you just clip them onto the carabiner. Flip that through. And then you go ahead and tighten it down. All right, and your pumpkin's on a line or whatever prop. So we're gonna get these guys all set up, put them on the bench, and uh, we're gonna see how this works out for us tonight. You dumbass, Leroy. <laughs> okay, Haunt Fam. So for my next one, this is for all my uh, Haunt Fam that uses inflatables. I don't personally run inflatables in my yard, um, but I do have something for you guys as a solution. Uh, my buddy Jordan Windex last year got his uh, Nightmare Before Christmas still out of his yard. So uh, I was kind of thinking about how I could prevent that for those of you that run inflatables, and I thought, here's my next tip and trick. Hit the bricks. So all you need is some landscaping bricks or uh, big landscaping stones, it doesn't matter, something heavy. And I'm gonna show you how I use those to prevent inflatables had I ever ran inflatables in the first place. Okay, YouTube, so we've got our inflatable. We got us, a, I think it's a three foot pumpkin or something from Wally World. They uh, do have a small hole in the bottom, I think just big enough to get our brick through. They were nice enough to give us some little paper clips and some kite string to tie this thing down, which is about useless. So we can either go ahead and upgrade and use our straps from the um, trampoline, or I think we're gonna go ahead and use our uh, excess dog wire. Why not? We gotta cut up. We can at least get a couple of runs of this and just run our cables to the side. So let's go ahead and feed this guy in here, making sure to keep clear of the fan and the lights. And believe me, no thieves in one down, run down the street carrying a five pound brick in the side of a nylon bag. So we'll feed that in. Zip it up. And then we'll mount this thing, run our cables through. And uh, since I don't do inflatables, if anybody wants this thing when I'm done with it, you guys just message me in the comments below. First one to message me, hey, I want it, you can have it. Just message me on your message, uh, your uh, mailing, ad mailing ad address on uh, Facebook. All right, so we got our hit the bricks inside. And the other good thing is, you guys, we can mix and match and layer these tips and tricks, man. We can use a screw you with a hit the bricks. So you can always add these together to like double down on uh, thieves. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing plugged in. We'll get some air to it. I'll get it modified, I'll get it uh, clamped down. And then the other thing I wanna show you guys is when you're doing inflatables, the, uh, the wrong way. So the hardware store sells those little pill things you clamp onto your extension cords. Make it hard on these thieves, don't make it easy. Go ahead and grab some electrical tape and just wrap all your cords. Make them cut the cord, make them get electrocuted. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap our cords all the way around to tie these guys together, just to give us a little bit of extra time because the thief ain't gonna be sticking around the yard trying to figure out how to get something apart they're gonna smash and grab. So always try and wrap up anything you have on extension cords and make those little bastards really work for what they're gonna take. Okay, YouTubes, so we're secured with the cable. We got enough slack so this thing can deflate and uh, power down at the end of the night. Uh, if a thief does want to come by and slip the little nylon strings that hold this guy, he's going to have to drag 5, 10, 20 pounds of bricks. You can load this thing up with however much you want in there. And like I said, another thing to save time, went ahead and taped up our connection. Not only does it help it waterproof, but it takes uh, more time for thieves to go ahead and have to cut cords and hopefully they get electrocuted. So let's see how this does for us.
Hey, Roy. You dumb, dumbass. Okay, YouTube, so that's my top three tips and tricks to keep your uh, home haunt display safe, uh, to keep it from little black-handed pilfering thieves, and to keep your stuff kind of locked down for rain and weather and wind, too. Um, I hope you guys get some use out of this. I hope it saves you some hassle down the road. And if you guys have any other ideas that I haven't covered or maybe that you guys use, man, drop them down in the comments for everybody else to see because we can all use the tips and tricks, man. And as always, you guys, always go check out my brothers in the trio of terror. There's Vic at Monster Misfits and Dave at the Weird Kid Show, guys. We're constantly putting out videos year-round. We do Halloween year-round. Um, it never stops for us. We're always up to something. So, uh, until I see you guys again, man, keep it evil. I brought my flip-flop. I brought my caskets. Classic. Caskets. Fastball. I'm going to sell you. Let's go.